All right, I had to turn the brightness up super, super high so you could even see me out here. I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 8 o'clock, maybe 8.30. And I am on the track on my third lap now. I'm doing a one-mile walk warm-up to get everything flowing. I've got my headphones in, listening to worship music, just jamming out, really. And uh, I like this one-mile warm-up. For me, it feels, uh, number one, I don't get into it too quickly, which can be unfortunate on days that I'm in a quick rush, but right now I'm not in a rush. So it's nice to just honestly start slow and get warmed up. The plan is today for the run workout, I'm going to set a 10-minute timer, and every minute I'm going to run about 100 meters. And luckily I'm on a track so I can measure it, but if you guys are replicating this at home and you don't have a track or you don't have a built-in ruler in your brain to measure 100 meters or 100 yards, you could just go for like 15 seconds. Um, 15 to 20 seconds every minute on the minute you run, and then the rest of the time in the minute you walk. That's what I'll be doing. Um, I don't really feel like I need to stretch too much to warm up for this. I already worked out earlier today and did some pistol squats and some Romanian deadlifts as well as some front split practice. And so I'm pretty warm already, uh, but this feels pretty good. Right now, what I'm planning towards is running a marathon probably in the next year or two. Uh, the reason why it's so far out is because I really don't feel like changing my training so drastically right now to where all of my focus is on running. I see myself not as like somebody who is a runner and lives by that identity or running the races. Uh, I just like to lift. I like to move my body and running makes me feel alive in a way that you know not many other things do. Uh, it's a great time for me to connect with God. I get out here, I put on worship music. Sometimes I don't put on anything and I just jam out and, and connect, right? So it, it's, it's just good for me to do this consistently, but it's not something that I'm doing to be the best runner in the world. So for me, if I take one to two years to build up to running a marathon, it's going to be a lot easier on the consistency piece and it'll just be more enjoyable because I trained for a half marathon back in 2021 and that was fun. I'm really happy with it, but um, I did it out in the Seguero Desert in Arizona over by Tucson and my performance wasn't the best. I actually ran it with a client of mine who ran the day before. He did better than me. And, you know, the guy was in his 40s. He's in the military. Great guy, David, you know. Um, but I was upset by that, I remember. I got two and a half hours, and it was up and down hills. It was, it was pretty crazy, gnarly terrain. Someone actually died on the course um, that weekend, so it wasn't necessarily an easy one, but like, I didn't do as well as I thought. But I put in a lot of work on training. I could have tweaked some things. That was two years ago. Knowing the things I know now, especially now that I've spent two years utilizing um, the ATG training, to where I've gotten my tendons so much stronger, my knees feel better than they've ever felt in my life. And I also have the most muscle mass and strength on my body that I would say I've probably ever had. Uh, anytime I've had more muscle in my frame than this, I was a lot fatter as well too. So I had a little bit of extra, you know, cushion where right now I'm pretty lean and feel good. I'm about 195, I would say, um, with about 100 and. 203 pounds of skeletal muscle mass on the in-body machine. Um, roughly 11% body fat and feels pretty good for me um, at that place. I enjoy being here. Um, I'm strong. For my goal of squatting uh, 400 pounds or 100 kilo or 200 kilos as well, which would be a little bit of a larger jump than 400 pounds, but for both of those goals, staying a little heavier like this feels better. I might even bulk up some more and uh, see how I if I can get pretty lean at 205, that would be great. But we'll see how this extra cardio comes into play there. Uh, but I feel good at this weight, but I don't want running to dominate what I do so I can still lift weights, squat, and feel good. So this is the start of that, exploring what that looks like and ultimately training to a marathon in the next like two, two years. I'm, I'm giving myself on that upper limit there because uh, I really don't want this to pull away from those other goals. It's not so important to me to run a marathon that um, I want to, you know, get, get my other goals like the squat. Um, I've got some other ones of uh, regaining the one-arm chin-up and getting it with more range of motion as well too. 
Um, I lost it after I stopped training for American Ninja Warrior back in 2019, and uh, I gained it then, and it was awesome. Didn't quite have the full range of motion, but I could do it from like right here, which is super impressive. Most people can't do that, and uh, lost it because you have to consistently train it. So I want to regain that uh, planche push-up as well too. That is one that. Uh, has me excited to train for if you don't know what that is it's basically you do a push-up but your feet are levitating and they're not touching the ground you're basically defying gravity and only on your hands perfectly horizontal it's super impressive whenever anybody can do that so that's gonna be the hardest thing on this list the levitating push-up or the goku push-up <laughs> uh, and uh, some other ones are to get the middle splits front splits and pancake splits those are progressing really well what i'm doing right now is i'm uh, doing three days a week of split training after my workout and so the first one is uh, front splits second one is middle splits and the third one is pancake splits just do one exercise two or three sets but they've been feeling good i'm close to the front splits and the pancake but don't quite have them middle splits that's going to take the longest i'm just you know, enjoying the, the soreness in my adductors I haven't felt in a while from training it and, and uh, getting some of that, uh, you know, just more attention on the groin, which I feel like I haven't really directly addressed in a while. So that's pretty fun. So you guys can see my goals. When I look at this, I even want to uh, win a bodybuilding show at one point, really focus on gaining a lot of mass and staying lean and, and just the whole uh, in-depth processes on nutrition. I feel like I know the nutrition down to the T, but I want to put it into practice to get that incredibly lean, not in shape because actually you're pretty, pretty sick by the end of it, but you know, just be a scientist and, and work with the macronutrients. But that'll be, you know, in a couple years after uh, the squats, the running, I want to get some of the body weight goals down first as I feel like it would be better to gain the body weight skills while I'm lighter and then bulk up and add muscle once I've got them and just maintain them from there rather than getting really heavy and strong and then cutting afterwards because I can squat and bench and deadlift all the goals I have there, uh, which would be a 315 bench, 500 dead and a 440 squat. And right now I'm at about probably a 360 on the, um, on the back squat my bench best is 275 for two, and I deadlifted 405, no straps, no belt, mixed grip, pretty, pretty well. I'd put like RPE, like eight. I would have had maybe like two or three more of them um, if I really wanted it. I haven't trained deadlifts in a while, so just a lot of Zercher Def Jefferson curls has been paying off. Same with the back extensions and seated good mornings. So um, we'll see how all of that goes, and the order I'm banking on right now is get light, get the body weight skills, and then go and get bigger, stronger, and be able to, you know, I think I'll get the squat early. I think I'll get the squat early. Really lifting, I'm so close to those goals that I'm not like upset with it. I think if I just keep doing what I'm doing in my training, I'll get there in the next two years. So that basically gives my 10 year training plan. I'm going, I give myself 10 years because real life might happen. I may not reach them, but uh, you know, I'm 26 years old, so if I can have all of these by the time I'm 36 and keep them for the rest of my life, like maintain that ability, I've got no complaints there, right? That'll be pretty good. So this is my fourth and final lap that I'm about to complete. And uh, then I'm going to go into those sprints. So I'm not sure if I'll show those because I don't think you'll be able to see them, but at least you know what workout I'm doing and my thought process on it. Uh, if this was... You know, good one for you guys watching you enjoyed this style of video drop a comment down below and let me know if you learned something or pick something up or maybe you're you know have some similar goals or similar thoughts on training would love to hear what you guys have to say so get into this 10 sets of 10 every minute on the minute 100 meter sprints I'm wearing sandals right now so this will be fun uh, but i really do enjoy these sandals for moving so i'll probably take off the long sleeve and get those started and use my phone as the timer uh yeah that feels the best so if i don't put anything after this this is the end of the video i'm on the last one this is set 10 of 10 got like 20 seconds left before the last minute Harder than I thought, honestly. 
Uh, the burn is nice in the lungs because I haven't ran in a while. But I know I'm keeping the overall effort at about 7 out of 10 or less. There's a lot more under the hood to still be used, which is good. I'm going to start this next one.